Well, y'all, welcome back. I'm uh, getting on the road. Uh, I left. I'm still in Wisconsin, I believe, but I'm headed back out of here, and I am headed to a spot in Illinois where I'm going to try to do some camping tonight. Hopefully, it's going to work out. So it's almost five in the afternoon, um, and I still have two and a half hours on the trip here uh, to get where I'm going. I did not leave very early this morning. So I just stopped at a gas station to fill up. I grabbed myself a sandwich. This will probably, I don't know if I would call this dinner because I'm still gonna eat something when I get to the campground, but I don't really have any plans to do anything crazy. But the campground itself should be pretty neat. Uh, so we'll see how this turns out. And I, I could be wrong, but in my memory, I don't ever remember camping in Illinois somewhere. Maybe I did it as a young kid, uh, but I doubt it. I don't remember doing it. So, this should be pretty cool. It'll knock another state off the list, and uh, I should have a good night. So, we'll see how this one turns out, guys. Stay tuned. I gotta get on the interstate here. And not speed too much. Just a little bit. You know, to have to live a bit, to have some fun. Oh, and you gotta pay attention lizards in the road. You see the big lizard out there? Oh, what is it? I think my father-in-law called them road gators, or I've heard them called road gators before. So yeah, two and a half hours to go, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll catch you guys as we cross into Illinois if I can. Uh, fingers crossed they have a cool uh, welcome to Illinois sign that we can stop at this time. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, stay tuned y'all. We'll see what happens tonight. Historical marker. I'm about to cross the border in Illinois here. As soon as I go around this curve, we'll stop at that marker. Whatever it is, should be cool. If I can find it. Welcome to Illinois. Well, y'all, I made it to Illinois, uh, but I missed that historical marker. It must have been in the cemetery somewhere, and I didn't see any signs directing me which way to go in there. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Oh, well, there's the sign right there. Well, that was not where I was expecting that to be, way farther down the road, uh, but yeah, we're in Illinois. Anyways, a couple more hours. I'll see you guys a little farther down the road. I don't know if I can make it under here. I'm gonna go look at that. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Might tear my box off the roof. We'll see. Let's see if I can see it through my mirror here. Got like an inch to spare. <laughs> Look at that. So close. Let's hope it doesn't hit on the way out. Okay. I think I gotta go this way. Yeah, because that's a driveway. That's the lowest bridge I've ever been under. I thought, I, I thought it was just through this thing. Over yonder. <laughs> it told me to turn and I'm like, where's the turn at? And then I see that go by and I had to turn around. 
I wasn't sure if I was going to make it under that. Yeah, there was probably an inch to spare. So, something to think about, I guess. There's some signs and stuff. We cannot park on the grass anywhere, which is kind of a bummer. But we're just gonna back her up. Right here somewhere. I think that's good. Let's check this out. signs too well. But back here is what's called the Hennepin Canal. There are some people here I need to, I don't think I have to pay to camp here. I think I can just camp out. There are some fire pits and whatnot. And a bathroom. Let's see what this sign says and we'll check out the canal. Well, so camping. Uh, there's a bunch of different canals with camping. The locks actually. So we're at one of the locks of the canal. Yeah, let's walk over there and check it out. Well, here we are. So this is the one of the locks on the canal system here. So these canals are no longer used for the purpose that they were. Uh, there were some gentlemen over here fishing. I talked to them for a little while and they remember these being ran back in the day. And uh, what they would do is they transport goods up and down the canal system and they'd have donkeys and like mules on the sides and they would pull the, uh, the tugboats and they would pull the, the barges through the canal system. But now they don't do that anymore. Uh, and they haven't really been maintained. And there's numerous of these canals up and down this river system here. And they're just hanging out. Like you can fish these. I guess you can kind of tube down these if you want to. Um, you kind of have to take out and put back in, but you could also do the same thing with a kayak if you really wanted to portage it across the canal system. But they just mowed the grass here. As you can see, it's full of grass. But it's really cool to see all the workings of this stuff, even if it's not functional anymore. You still have all the old gears and stuff here. Oh, there's an inlet here that goes under this way. That looks slightly dangerous. Well, check that out. That'd kill you in a heartbeat. But yeah, you can see there's a path that goes all along this stuff and you can bike this and hike this and do whatever you want. But these paths on both sides, uh, let me get some sun on me. These, pa these paths along both sides of the canal here were what the, the mule teams ran up and down, I guess. Yeah, this is neat. And I think there's six maybe eight of these uh, those gentlemen also mentioned that there's a visitor center that I should hopefully be able to visit in the morning which I had no idea uh, that explains all of this and they've got pictures and like diagrams of stuff uh, from this area so that's it's cool man this is cool this is something that I've never never really seen like this yeah that is a dangerous spillway and it goes under here and those guys, you can see them, were fishing right at the bottom of there. They have not had any luck. Uh, yeah. Really neat area. The homie Travis is going to be mad because I'm probably not going to fish. I don't have an Illinois license and the sun's down. Uh, I did pick up a couple bundles of firewood, so we're probably going to get that, that going. We might as well have a little fire and a drink. But you can see there's a paved path on the other side. 
And then they've got the big section here. We'll get a shot from the other side. We'll get a shot from the other side before my battery dies. Well, there's a campsite there. Wonder if I could park over here too. No camping past this sign. So I imagine you can camp. You could camp there if you wanted to, but yeah, there's a trail that goes along here. Some truck over yonder there maybe. There. And then we've got some more gates here. And you can see where the spillway tube comes out. And it just goes all along down here. And you could keep going on and on down the canal, but I'm gonna head back over to the truck sitting over there, see if I want to move it at all, and uh, we'll get ourselves a little campfire going. Crack open a drink. I don't know what I got here. A little catfish. Is it? Yep. There's it's a bullhead. No, that's catfish. It's a small channel. Well, there you go. I got there you it. go. I brought you a little bit of luck, right? That's a little I flathead, isn't it? No, it's just a little channel cat. little channel? Yeah, he's a channel. He don't look very good, actually. I don't... Nah, he's yeah. all right. You can clean him. I don't know if I want to mess with That's him. like me. I take him fishing all the time. Are you he sure catches that... something, I don't I'm pretty sure nothing. that's a flathead. Oh, that is a flathead. That's a baby flathead. Yeah. That's a yeah, little that flathead. That's a baby flatty. Yep, that's a flathead, yep. You that's cool. Throw him back in to let him grow some more? Or are you gonna I think him? I'm going to throw him back because I don't really want to mess with him. Not something that If small. he was a little bigger, but you want to take a picture, did you already? I got a little bit on here, yeah. All right, yeah, he's going back. You go back and grow, buddy. Let him go, let him grow. Yeah, if he, yeah I want if, that one that's about that long, 60 pounds. Trouble oh, yeah. is, how are you going to get a 60 pounder up here? Well, I'm going to have you go over there. You got to crawl around, yeah. yeah. Toss me your ball, I guess. windows cracked open quick so as I was walking back stopped to chat with those gentlemen again and sure enough he caught himself one I guess maybe I brought him a little bit of luck um, and they told me about a really cool bar that I'm gonna have to visit here locally at some point but it's only open on the weekends we got our windows open I'm not gonna start my fan up until I need it because although I've charged my little thing, my batteries are running low and I need to charge this battery too, but I have a cooler just jam-packed with stuff. I've got a bunch of the meat. Like there's that's all salmon in there. This big old brick of salmon and and we've got some other stuff that Travis gave me. In fact, I think this is what we're gonna have a little bit later uh, to snack on. But for now. Got our drink, and let's get ourselves a fire going.
ourselves a drink here. Uh, so this is, oh no. I don't think I looked at this well enough, y'all. I saw mango Michelada, and it's created with goldenrod brewing, but it's also made with Clamato. And had I known that, I probably wouldn't have got this because I have a feeling this is gonna be a tomato beer and I just screwed up again because I don't like tomato beers. Uh, the mango, I saw mango. Maybe it won't be too bad, but we'll see. Smells good. Nope. Another one for the homies, I guess. That was a mistake. Uh, I just saw a mango and I bought it because I like mango. But that was not what I was expecting. I told myself I'm gonna use my big cooler for this trip. And I didn't, and I probably should have pack this in a little bit better, but it will be okay. We'll just have to eat it right away. Pretty quickly anyways. Alright, well, had a couple of these over the last few days, but we've got a Miller High Life here. A staple of Milwaukee. And I don't need to tell you guys that these are pretty tasty. Fire's going. It's a beautiful night. This is a really cool little park. Uh, there's a house directly across the canal for me. So there's people right there. There's a house right there. There's a house right over there, a farmhouse. So although I am out in the country, uh, there's people right here. So there's not, I wouldn't really worry about much at this site. Otherwise it might be a little sketch to some people. Uh, it is a bummer that you're like blocked in. You can't park on the grass anywhere, but at least I can camp here tonight. The regulations on paying were kind of odd. It said Class C camping and youth groups needed to pay. I don't know if Illinois, if Class C camping means something else, but I think Class C and I think of a you know Class C RV. Uh, so I really don't know. Either way, you can't pay at this location. You have to go to like a, a city office or something somewhere and pay for that when they're open. And they're not open this late on a what is today? Tuesday? I don't know. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah. They aren't open this late on a Tuesday night. It's 8.30 at night right now. Um, but I'm going to kick back, drink myself a brew, and uh, hang out. Had I been here any earlier, a couple hours earlier, I would have got a fishing license. But it's going to be dark in 30 minutes. At this point, it's not worth it. But I do know of cool spots to come back to, considering there's multiple campsites like this along the canal system so cheers you guys well y'all it's a beautiful night let me give you a little temp check here if I can all right so it's currently 72 degrees and we have a low of 67 tonight, so not terrible. 87% uh, humidity though, so a little bit humid out here. I don't think we're gonna get any rain or anything like that tonight. Just a nice, beautiful night here. And it was really cool to talk to those dudes. Really cool when you can run into people like that and just strike up a conversation. And one of the gentlemen uh, was in the armed forces and he was stationed right locally to me so he knew exactly where I was from told me a bunch of stories from then and it was it's that that's some of the best stuff it's just the people you meet and the stories you hear uh, if you guys have been following along you know that I was just up in Milwaukee and there was quite a bit of that stuff that I just met some amazing people uh, I spent a day at a guy's shop, spent an evening at a guy's shop, uh, 
one of the coolest shops I've seen. Artwork everywhere, rad motorcycles everywhere, just cool things going on. But it was also the type of place where you don't whip a camera out and start filming everything. So that one's for my memories only, but don't be afraid to go for go for a good time. You never know what's around the next corner and what's gonna happen. And, and uh, over the course of the last couple days in Milwaukee, I met some really amazing dudes that, that I hope to see again in the future, you know? Every time I go up there, I meet some more cool people. Milwaukee has been a great place to me. I'm gonna chill and let this fire burn out, and I'm gonna get headed in the truck, probably get myself a movie going, which I'll probably fall asleep to. And I've got a couple cool things we'll snack on once we get in there that uh, Travis gave me, so we'll check those out since I already ate ate the sandwich for dinner earlier on the way here but yeah beautiful night at a really cool spot hopefully the the historical center is open in the morning and we can go check that out in here you guys are gonna have to go how would you all get in here there's like four in here come on yo they should go to the lights at least it'll be easy to get them out I don't even have any paper towels back here because I soaked them dang it Stupid moths. It's easier to catch them with something else as opposed to trying to get them by hand the whole time. Where'd you go, dude? There's one there. Got that one. Got another one, I think. Where I knocked him out. There's one there. I think that's the last one. Just land. Voila, I got gotcha. you. see something else flying around? Nope. Well, I think I got all of them. Except now they're on the outside of that trash bag, which is cool. So I've been charging my battery box off the truck. Oop, there's the other one. I knocked him out. I knew I did. We'll just shove them out there. All right. So this battery box, uh, you can charge it via USB or like a solar panel or it comes with a charger. And I've been, since I don't have a solar panel, I've been having it charging off a USB. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough juice to run this fan all night. I really hope I do because I did not get new batteries. So I'm not going to turn that on until I absolutely need it. But other than that, it's just time to chill in here. There's a couple other bugs flying around. Oh, there's a moth there. Found another one. How did I get so many moths in here? I don't want you on my pillow, dude. Just go outside. Why'd you got to come in here? Because now I'm going to have to kill you. I don't know where he went. I'll get him eventually. He was over here somewhere. Either way. Get this stuff off. Get my headlamp put away. And we're just going to hang out. Sit in the truck. Watch ourselves a movie. And relax. It's been kind of a whirlwind. The last few days. Uh, and early mornings. And late nights. So... Uh, it'll be nice to just have a chill night in here by myself. I'm going to get a movie going before I snack on anything. But we'll definitely have ourselves a interesting snack before we go to sleep. 
So it's time to just crack open another brewski and lay back and watch a movie. With my cooler full of high life here. High life salmon gator smoked cheeses and a couple other things I gotta get these pants off too get some shorts put on some shorty shorts right here all right shorts are on it's definitely five o'clock somewhere and what are we gonna watch tonight I think I still have some episodes of love death and robots that I have not watched yet. So I might watch some more of that. Since they're short stories time things, they they go by pretty quickly and they're they're pretty entertaining. Some more than others, obviously. Yeah, I'm curious if I'm gonna have enough juice to run all night. Maybe on low. I know I had something somewhere where I could run it off of my other box I had a 12 volt thing but I don't know where what I did with that I might have taken it inside over the winter yeah I think I'm just gonna go ahead and watch some love death and robots because it's pretty entertaining since I still have some on here all right y'all That did not work at all. The can did not open. There we go, I got it. Didn't work great, but it worked. I'm watching the Swarm episode of season three. seal my tailgate up a little bit better seems like I'm getting more bugs in here than usual turn off all right so we've got some snacks that we're gonna give a shot um, and we'll see what they're like uh, I was watching a movie called Pogi Beach it's pretty funny so this is called Pernat's string beef um, Travis said this was the sauce here so we're gonna give this a shot and then he also gave me this which is smoked Gouda so we'll try some of that too um, and then I have some chips if I want to try some chips we'll just see what this stuff is like I don't know uh, I'm really not sure what to expect with this String beef. It's like a, I guess it's like a snack, like a cold snack. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna give her a whirl. We got ourselves a meat and cheese tray. It 
reminds me of like corned beef. I feel like it's like jerky but not jerky. It's like soft beef jerky. It's just cured beef. Keep refrigerated. It doesn't really say much. It's good though. I mean, it's nothing crazy. But it's definitely tasty. It's a spot. Yeah, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like beef jerky. But not jerky. Not jerky, but it's the same. Kind of. Well, that cheese smells really good. Smoked Gouda. Oh. Party foul. I don't know if I'm going to eat that off of this floor at this point in time. Smoked Gouda and string beef. Mm. Mm. Ain't bad at all, though. Ain't bad at all. Kind of hits a spot right now. I could really go for a paper towel, though. <laughs> I don't have any back here. Awesome. If I'm not careful, I'm going to sit here and eat this whole block of cheese. And that's not something I want to do to myself. I'm going to have one more piece of the string beef. I'm going to get this in a Ziploc bag so that I don't get it all wet in my cooler. Oh, I probably got, I got baby wipes in here. And I got toilet paper. There we go. I got stuff to wipe my hands off with. We'll just use a wipe. I better put those in separate bags. So you can hear the the spillway like popping and hear the, the water running out there, which is nice. I haven't turned my big fan yet on yet. I'm using this little one on a small battery pack here. See, there's bugs flying around. Like I swear, they're getting in a little bit more than they used to. Maybe there's just a lot of bugs in this location, but I don't know. I do need to, I do need to tighten up the tailgate, I think. Let's toss back in the cooler there. And, uh, I think it's time to go to bed. Uh, yeah.
we'll see what the morning brings see if we can find that history center about the canal system here and see what that's all about but I'm gonna plug this fan in if I can here save this for later if we need it. Oh. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. y'all uh oh it's a little after nine is it oh I slept amazing the weather was beautiful last night beautiful last night oh man oh Says it's 74 degrees outside right now. That's not bad at all. Ew.
were brewing. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed quick and we'll get headed out. I believe the visitor center and stuff that those guys were talking about last night is about 15 minutes away and it should be open today. So then we get changed, get this stuff put away and we'll uh, head over to the visitor center and see what the place is all about. center's up there. I think that goes back to the canal. A little pond back here but the visitor center's locked it said it was supposed to be open so that's kind of a bummer maybe i can check a wikipedia or something for some information but we'll take a wander around the park here and see what this is all about these pathways go off this way i imagine there's probably another lock here for the canal system but we'll see Kind of a bummer that's closed. There's somebody in there. There's a truck there. Yeah, it's peaceful here. It's quiet. Uh, yeah, cool area. Cool area. Here's the canal. Oh, there's no lock here. Not that I can see. There's another old bridge. It looks like there might be a lock way up there. One of the kind of neat things about it was that where I camped last night on the opposite side of the road, there was a boat ramp and you could put a boat in there. It was restricted to 10 horsepower, but they allow it. And I'm pretty sure there was a sign for a boat ramp here somewhere. So you can actually put something in there if you'd like uh, and go up and down the canal 
as far as you can if you're on a kayak or a float tube or something you have to take in and out and portage uh, where the little canal locks are at but it's all doable well super bummed that we can't get in the visitor center here but I guess we'll head back to the truck and uh, I'll see if their website says anything Well, that's a bummer. It is supposed to be open at 7.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. So, technically it should be open today. And there's somebody up there. But, I don't know, maybe they didn't uh, unlock the door like they were supposed to. Who knows? Uh, but let's see. Alright, so here's some history. And this is directly from the Hennepin Canal State Trail website from Illinois. So, this says uh, there's... It is a 104.5 mile linear park spanning five Illinois counties and uh, it was constructed from 1892 to 1907. The Hennepin Canal played an important role in the U.S. history and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It was the first American canal built of concrete without stone cut faces. Uh, the towpath provides 155 miles of hiking and biking fun from the Illinois River to the Rock River with the feeder canal path to the Rock Falls. Segments are open to horseback riding and snowmobiling in season. Fishing is outstanding and the canal is open to boating and canoeing. Locks are no longer operational and must be portaged. Crampgrounds, etc. Of the 33 locks on the canal, 32 remain visible. The first one on the Illinois River has been underwater since the 1930s. 14 of the locks had Marshall gates, which are unique to the Hennepin and raised and lowered on a horizontal axis, much like a rural mailbox. Five of the locks have been restored to working condition, although they are not used. One of the Marshall gate locks, all of the, one of these is a Marshall gate lock. All of these gates from the remaining locks have been reclosed replaced with concrete walls creating a series of waterfalls. The Hennepin originally had nine aqueducts, concrete troughs which carried the canal and its traffic across larger rivers and streams. Today six remain while the other three have been replaced by pipes that carry the canal flow under a creek or river. So they used to put it over. Yeah, so it's interesting. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that that visitor center wasn't open. I was excited to see that and uh, see older pictures and stuff of it, but sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? So, I think, let me get this turd started. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and close this one out here. Uh, I'm headed on down the road. Today I'm gonna head into Iowa and check out a cool historical site and we'll find somewhere there to camp. So, we'll see how that one turns out, but as always, stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.